Hi there, welcome again to my channel. This time our topic is about the continuation of uh, English 10, Quarter 1, Module 3. Now this, uh, this time we are going to deal with the Part 2 of the lesson entitled Appraising the Unity of Plot, Setting and Characterization in a Material View to Achieve Writer's Purpose. But before we proceed, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click also the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Now let us proceed. Activity 2.5. By the way, again, this is the continuation or the part 2 of uh, the first part that I have uh, uploaded with uh, the same topic. Activity 2.5. Directions, study the chart below. Supply its corresponding box given the plot of the story or Phaos. Write the letter of the correct answer on your worksheet. Okay. We have here column A and column B. Okay. Be ready with your piece of paper and also with your module. Dapat hawak ninyo ang inyong module habang pinapanood ninyo ang, mod ang video nito. Okay. Let us start. This is where you are going to base your answer. This is the letters that you are going to base your answer. Just follow this in your module. Because everything that are shown here are also included in your module. Okay, let us start. For exposition, the answer is letter A. For rising action, the answer is letter B. For climax, the answer is letter C. Falling action, the answer is letter D. And resolution, the answer is letter E. Okay, next activity. 2.6. How can you relate to Orpheus' experiences? Answer in two or to five sentences in your worksheet. This is supposed to be uh, your own idea based on your own perception from your uh, own experiences okay but I'm going to provide you with a sample answer okay I have experienced the same failure in my studies this is the sample answer now if you want to copy this just post the video and then jot this down in your in a piece of paper okay I have failed to follow the direction in my exam so I failed and got a low grade. Activity 2.7. This activity further tests your familiarity of the parts of the plot. Now here's the direction. Match parts of the plot in column A with their appropriate meanings in column B. Write your answer on your worksheet. Okay, here is the parts of a plot, column A, and in the meaning is in the column B. Now let us try to answer this one. For exposition number one, the answer is letter C. Okay. Letter C is this answers when and where the story takes place that is under exposition. Now for rising action, the answer is letter B. This part of the story introduces the conflict. And for the climax, the answer is letter A. This is the most exciting part of the story. And for number four, falling action, the answer is letter D. This is when the problem starts to have a solution. And the number five, answer is letter E. This is also known as the ending of the story. Okay, next activity. Activity 2.8. Provide at least five descriptions of Orpheus according to the story. How is the story presented by the author? Is it narrative, persuasive, descriptive, or informative? And why? Okay, let us answer this. For first question, five descriptions of Orpheus, we have loving, sorrowful, persistent, impatient, talented, by the way, we don't have to explain this loving. Alam nyo na yan. Sorrowful, that is also when a person is sad. 
persistent. This refers to a person who does not want to stop even if there are obstacles. He keeps on moving forward. Impatient is a person who is not able to continue and is not able to uh, cope with the stress involved in a task that is called impatient. And talented, of course, is a person who has many capabilities. Okay. Now, the story falls under narrative because it tells a story based from the word narrative. It narrates a story. Okay. Now, we are now in lesson three, characterization and author's purpose. Activity 3.1, direction. Tell us what you know about the following words from column A and write your answers to column B in your worksheet. Okay, be ready with your notes. Here is from column A, terminologies, and the column B, your ideas. Okay. For narrator, the speaker, of course, this is the speaker or the storyteller in a story. The author, of course, is the one who wrote the story. Characters are the people involved in the story. And writing style is the way an author writes or delivers the story. Next activity, task 3.2, direction. Before you answer, kindly read again the story of Orpheus. Read in the following questions and write your answer on your worksheet. Number one, enumerate as many characters in the story. Number two, in one sentence, give your idea about the following words. Okay, for number one, here is a possible answer. Characters are the following Orpheus, Eurydice, Persephone, Hades, Charon, and Cerberus. Now for number two, for narrative, it tells a story. For persuasive, persuasive, this convinces people to take action. Descriptive, it gives details or ideas. And informative, it provides information based from the word informative. Okay, next activity, 3.3. Now here are, here's the direction. Read its question carefully. Then tick the boxes on your worksheet. Okay, here are the boxes that you are going to check. Let's check the three corresponding boxes if you have observed the following from the story. Orpheus described himself as a good musician. Of course, that is correct. Hage said that Orpheus was sad. Correct also. At the end of the story, the persona narrated Orpheus as impatient and so suspicious. That is correct also. Okay, next. In one sentence, answer based from your observation and opinion. As a reader, describe Orpheus. Okay, possible answer. Orpheus is a person who loves too much but cannot move on once his, love, uh, once his loved one is gone. By the way, this answer is not found in your module. So you should provide your own uh, answer based on your own perception. Or you can use this answer also as a sample and you can you can uh, change this or uh, add some more if you want okay next for letter b the writers propose below are four statements check the box that best describes alice lowe's reason for writing the story okay alice lowe narrates the events of Orpheus rescue of Eurydice from the underworld Okay, that is check. Alice Lowe wants to describe the setting of the story colorfully. Check also. Alice, Lowe main, Alice Lowe's main purpose in writing the story is to convince that life is full of regrets. Check also. Alice Lowe hopes to provide scientific information about the story. Okay, 
that is checked also. Now next, activity 3.4. And here is the direction. In two to five sentences, write your takeaways on your worksheet. This is supposed to be your own uh, idea based from your own understanding. Okay, but I'm going to give you an example. Okay, here are the suggested answers. Number one, life is full of challenges and problems. Or oh, you may copy this. Number two, persistent people often succeed in their task. Yung mga taong uh, pursigido o talagang decidido na tapusin yung kanyang ginagawa. That is called persistent. Being impatient results to failure. Yung mga taong hindi makatiis. That is called impatient. Number four, follow instructions carefully. And number five, doubt leads to failure. Alright, if you doubt the uh, instruction of the person who is giving you a direction, then that would lead to failure. Activity 3.5, direction. Please provide your own understanding of the following based on the story or fears. Okay. First, this is your idea about the character. And then, you are going to explain this, the physical characteristics, behavior, or attitude, and the author's purpose in writing the story or fears. Okay, possible answer. For physical characteristics of Orpheus, handsome, okay, strong. For behavior or attitude, loving and persistent. You can add some more. Author's purpose in writing the story. Okay, here are some more answers for behavior and attitude. And then for author's purpose in writing the story, to give moral lesson. Okay. Now, next activity. Activity 3.6. Instruction, complete the plot pyramid substantially and concisely on your worksheet. Imagine a very short story when you are the main character. Now, tell us what happened in your interesting story through fill, uh, filling in scenarios 1 to 2 sentences. All right. What you are going to do is you are going to write your own story here with uh, the characters. Uh, beginning of the story, you are going to provide the setting here in the exposition. Follow with the rising action, climax, falling action, and the resolution. Now, I am going to provide you an example here. But, of course, you may uh, uh, revise it or add some more. Ideas. Okay, let us uh, begin. Again, be ready with your ball pen and your paper. Okay, for number one, exposition. At the first day of modular distance learning, I and my brother, okay, just write the name of your brother here and your sister here. This possible answer for exposition. For number two, rising action, we open our modules and start reading. In the part that we cannot understand, we ask our parents, uh, our parents help, but they don't uh, know also the answer. Okay, now the climax. We decided to ask our neighbor who is a college student and she was able to give the answer to our question. Now for following action, we were able to continue answering our modules through the help of our parents and our neighbor. And then for the resolution, we were able to finish our modules and were able to return them on the scheduled day. All right. Lesson four, simple narrative writing. Activity 4.1. Direction, reviewing the story or fails, please supply your answer in the given questions using your own words. Write the answers in your worksheet. In paragraph number one, state the setting in the story. By the way, the answers here are not found in your module, so you should be ready to take down notes. Number one answer, 
A long time ago in Greece, there were nine goddesses who were children of Zeus and Titanes, named Nemosin. Each of these muses ruled over different art of sciences. Okay. Number two, how do you find the mercy given by the gods to Orpheus? Was it fair or not? Why? Okay, possible answer. It is not fair because he was the only human being who was allowed to go to the underworld. This is referring to Orpheus to get his dead wife. Other people were not allowed by the gods. Oh, so it is unfair. If Orpheus were allowed, then other people also should be allowed. But it was only Orpheus who was allowed by the gods. Okay. Number three. What is the author's purpose in writing the story of Orpheus? Okay, the author's purpose is to give moral lesson. Okay, activity 4.2. Read the following questions and choose the letter that best represents the correct answer. Write the letter of the correct answer on your worksheet. Okay, we are going to choose from this uh, option, characterization, Author's purpose, author, narrative, and first person point of view. Number one, this refers to the use of I, my, mine, and myself in describing characters. The answer is letter E. Number two, this refers to the writer's writer of the story. Answer is letter B. Number three, this pertains to reason of writing the story. Letter C. And number four, this is, okay, this is a number four. This is a development of a character based from the de details in the story. And number five, the reason for writing is focused on telling. Okay. In telling, uh, that is the letter D is, let us check what is letter D. Narrative. Okay. Now let us proceed. Well, that's enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on my next video.